Alrighty, we are back at Pebble Beach. Maybe one of the first courses I've gone back to. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I played the white tees, and we are back at the blue tees today. Playing Pebble Beach in all its glory. Let's see how we do. A little bit of a tug off the first. In the rough, 158. And a good shot there for a par. Even through one, par five second here. At Two, four, five in. Big time hook and short in the rough. Forty yards away. Distance is good. And that is a birdie. Four hundred yard par four third, taking an aggressive line here. Gonna be a cart path golf. One forty four away up the hill. Says it's one foot down at the hole though, so let's see. I'm trying to dial in one forty four, it looks short. Gets a good kick and rests up for a par. Still at minus one, going to the fourth hole. A short par four, 311. Hitting a hybrid off the tee. Playing a little too close to the edge there. About 104 remaining. Gotta carry this bunker, no. Out of the rough, it did not get there. Par save is intact, however, and remaining at minus one. 180 yard par three. Trying to hit a fade in there. And that was a really good shot. A couple yards to the left, and uh, would have had a good chance for a birdie, but hangs out to the right, and that's okay. <laughs> Kind of a weird swing, had to rescue it. Ends up alright though on this par 5. Um, you don't want to take on too much of this cliff, so I'm aiming out to the left. And I end up just absolutely smashing this. 136 ball speed with a hybrid um, through the fairway, because I aimed too far left. Or hit it too good, whatever way. Got a good chance though here at birdie, just need to dial in 40 yards again, ironically. And it is 0.2 yards away. Take the par, move on, 109, this was my most disappointing swing of the day. This is an iconic par 3 down the hill, and I tugged it way left. Uh, it was a good swing, but I, the face just closed, and I end up over by the other tee box. The chip back goes a little long, and we have our first bogey on the card. And we're going to the eighth hole. Driver in hand. It's kind of a double fairway, and this is going to be a good angle, but it's going to be pretty far. 186 in, down the hill. Trying to hit a fade, clearing those hips left. And I'm just not getting uh, the distance I'm thinking. 
and ended up a little short there for another bogey. Automatic three putt from outside that circle. And we move on to a long par four, 490 par four. So trying to give it a go with the driver, at least give myself a chance. And able to get some decent numbers out of that one. 44 ball speed, but still 240 remaining. Aimed way left, didn't want to mess with the beach. And that's, I mean, out of the rough, that's probably as good as I was going to do. Going to have to try and chip to rescue the par here. Got a lot of loft on it, trying to stop it. And success. So front nine, pretty good. Plus one, I think that's a 37 on this course. And uh, we move to the back nine, which I believe is harder. We got a lot more water and stuff, so aiming left and pulling left away from the beach here, but a good kick off of the cart path gives us a chance on this long par four. This is a 451 yard par four from the blue tees. Uh, we get super lucky, almost 300 yard drive with the double bounces, and then we are staring at 178. I gotta think that's a misread that did not look 20 degrees into out. Either way, chipping 31 and going long. So making a mess of 10. Starting off the back nine, not so great. Gave that one a good chance, but ultimately taking a bogey there. Going to plus two. And we are at the 11th hole, a more reachable par 4, 370, but I hit a bad drive into the rough and short. That's going to leave 151 up the hill. Small green to land on here, and it runs through, so got to hit it higher and more spin and land on these tiny greens here at Pebble. A good chip, almost gave that one a chance as well, and saving par there. Still at plus two, still the round intact. If we're at Pepple and having this round, we are pumped. 203 yard par three. And that is a 205 yard for hybrid right on the green. Good shot there. Moving on. Underneath the tree and out towards the middle of the fairway. 405 yard par 413th. Looks like a pretty straight away hole. Bunker left. Bunkers in front. Up the hill. 179. Trying to play a draw in there and I think I just got under it and flicked it. Got all handsy and it didn't go anywhere. Trying to find 25 yards out of the bunker and just, again, not committing. Leaving a much tougher shot and barely holds. Par 5, maybe a chance to get one back here, but this is going a little left. 570 yards from the Blues. Uh, we're definitely a three shot hole. 350 remaining. Just trying to advance it here up the left hand side. Maybe a little too light handed and leaving ourselves more than we could have if you get that 200 yards. You got, you got a 9 iron in. Trying to hump up on a six iron and get it there. And the path was good. It started to go there, but just not enough ball speed. Tough bunker shot here goes a little long. And the bogeys are coming a little more quickly here on the back nine at Pebble. 388 down the hill, tree on the left. Get a little help from the downhill and we'll have a short iron in. One, three, four. 
should be a tight draw in there. It's right at it, but it's also a little short, so maybe not adjusting to uh, how fast I was swinging today. Par 4, 16th. We're getting to the famous holes to end Pebble Beach. 400 yard down the hill. Kind of spinny, leaving quite a bit left. Forgive the low battery on the right there. And just left the face open way too much. That's not going to get there, so another bogey on 16. Still not a bad round. We can finish strong here on 17 and 18. 173, par 3, hitting it into the ocean. Cutting a little too much and a little short. Actually, if it didn't cut that much, it might have bounced up there because I was getting no spin and no height. Able to chip in there for a par, so we got one hole left. Let's see the iconic Pebble Beach. Just, uh, I should aim a little right, obviously, but this is what dumbass I do. <laughs> Trying to keep a plus five round together at Pebble, and, uh, just turned it over. Let's see, seven degree left face. That was the main issue. So now I'm aimed again, and uh, I decided just to re tee and try and hit a good one. This one flirting with the water again, but much better. Still super short. It is a par five. I'm not going to be able to get there in two, so I'm trying to set myself up for a chance at a par. And I hit this squirrely. And then I hit a shank. My first shank uh, of the round there. Just a little too accelerating from the top and kicking the hands out. Messing with a tree here. And this was a good shot until it rolls off the green. If we make that, it's not that bad. Now we gotta make this difficult chip for a triple bogey finish at Pebble, which would be very sad. I would be trying to book another round after that. Oh man. Make sure to like this video, uh, not for the triple at the end, but for the 37 on the front. And, uh, subscribe lots of new courses and then version two of gs pro coming out very soon